everyone, this is Amy Hager here and I'm at the farmer's market again in Claremont. This place is like happening, so compared to when it was like coronavirus, this place is now all of a sudden really busy. So I'm walking up to this booth. This is the tropical booth. And yeah baby, look at all their tropical fruits. So they got all Pepper's passion fruit. She's excited about that. Maybe we'll have to get some of those. Are you excited about that? Passion fruit. Okay, we're gonna go over to the Crazy Apron. Let's see if I could turn this around. So we have the Crazy Apron here and Pepper likes some more cupcakes. We're gonna get one. Okay, we just got a little vegan brownie. It's uh, gluten-free and it's vegan, so I'm game. And we're just gonna walk through. There's tons of different vendors over here. Maybe you could see behind me. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see what is going on. Woohoo! Oh, there's their daddy. Who's that handsome guy? He's a Pomeranian. Look who I ran into. Who is this man who is with a dog? One of my clients <laughs> runs a booth and she just gave me her dog. Oh, so. you just, yeah, you just <laughs> won a free dog. I okay. won a free dog. Cool. Look, okay. he's awesome. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. He's a palm. I was going to say, this he's dog is not one that you're training. It's Check her. him out, River. Check him out. He's fun. River likes to train cool. dogs. He's a little dog trainer himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. River's good with him. That's awesome. Well, okay, yeah. so here you go. A bunch of booth vendors. It's, you know, okay, let's go March. Another way, guys. Okay. So it's March. It's starting to get hot. Vendors. And I'm actually going to start to feel really bad for all these vendors when the heat turns up. <laughs> it gets hot. It, yeah. it gets really hot. I've done it. Right. Okay. Like Claremont's starting to be a cool place to hang out. There's, they're redoing the whole downtown area, and this place is like a ghost town before. So we got strawberries here. If you want strawberries, I bought a little cup. Thanks, guys. Let's keep looking. Okay. So I'm gonna get some zucchini. I'm gonna get some asparagus. Awesome, so I just got some grapes and I got zucchini. So I'm not buying a ton. I have some stuff at my house already. I had these really pretty peppers that I wanted. Hi guys, how much is your guacamole? I have a small as seven and a large as 12. Okay, maybe I'll get some guacamole because why not? I'm always making it myself. So here's their guacamole that they've made and they've got all these different salsas. What's this one? This is our strawberry chili salsa. Wow, It's a very good chili marinade salsa. for steak, pork, lamb. Stuff like that. Easter's coming up, Tofu. marinated in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's this one here? Then this is our ceviche. It's a fish salad. It's made by Corvina fish. It's marinated in lime. Okay, and what's this yellow one? This is our pineapple salsa. And then we have pico de gallo uh, and tr traditional tomato salsa and tomatillo. Okay, yummy. Okay, we're gonna have to get some. Okay, I just got like $21 worth of salsa. <laughs> That's why I like to make it on my own a lot, but sometimes it's just nice to have somebody do it for you. So I will pay for it. And I am excited about this strawberry chili salsa that they have. I really want to test that out and see if that one's any good. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's super, super yummy. Wow, the market's getting more and more crowded. And it's also getting hotter. Oh, is this the store I really like? This is the store I have to show you guys. Okay, I love this store. They've got the cutest little things. This is where I get like some doilies for some of those photo shoots you see me doing. And let's see if we can go on in. That cute stuff here. Oh my gosh, I love this store. Look how cute it is. Okay. Oh, is it open? I hope it is. I think it is. Yes, it's open. Okay, oh my gosh. I love little stores like this. It just smells good as soon as I walked in here. So we have all these fun little tables. I just want to decorate my whole house like this. Desks, um, scarves. So if you remember my chocolate smoothie, they had a scarf like this. And just fun little cards, flowers. You know, if you want to shop, this has got some fun stuff in here. And I love like the flowers above the doorway and everything. Mirrors. Like glass with jewels on it. Yes. And cool chairs. Those are velvet chairs, which yeah, you don't know. I don't always really see those. Fun little pictures and oh my gosh, I want to buy everything. I love it. I love it. And oh my gosh, jewelry. Yeah, baby. I always loved dangly earrings and things like that. So this is like totally up my alley. You're welcome. Hi. 
Hi. Is it okay if I record? That's fine. I'm just talking to everybody about how awesome your store is. <laughs> yeah, you remember me. I'm the one who gets all those doilies. Oh, She's yes. She's got the doilies over there. <laughs> okay, more flowers. I could seriously buy everything in this store. Okay, look at that lamp. Like, you, de you decorated these, right? Yeah. yeah, so the owner of the store decorates the lamps with little doilies and flowers and jewels and buttons and just fun little things. That's so, so clever. And really cute. And I love that mirror back there. I want to buy that mirror. <laughs> and chairs. And, oh, this would be a cute desk for a model girl. They had a mirror on it. Oh, but it's so cute. Love it. Yeah. And then just little pictures and things like that. So, one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I love that store. I'm going to buy that mirror. I don't care how much it is. I'm going to be like, does anyone want a massage? I got to get my mirror. So, okay. I think there's only one last booth. Oh, I wanted to get that. Yeah. Here it is. I don't know if they have a lot left. This is the hydroponic lettuce booth. It looks like it's sold out. This is why it stinks sometimes to come in the evening, or you know, not in the evening, but towards the end of the market, and all I see is bok choy. Well, all the hydroponic lettuce is just gone. Okay, so I got something called tat soy, and this is a smaller version of what I just got. It's the last hydroponic lettuce that they have. They sell out on this. But yeah, I wonder what I could do with tat soy. Interesting. All right, tell me about tatsoi. Okay, tatsoi is the Japanese cousin of bok choy. Ooh, okay. It is filled with vitamins equivalent to three oranges. Cool. We mainly take them and break them up, put them on top of a salad for that extra vitamins, you know? Or some people will uh, saute them, okay. or saute them for, um, you know, uh, something. Okay. You know, sauteed. Sounds good. <laughs> I can't wait. Yummy. In my tummy. Oh, you got a balloon. Cool. Yeah. Okay, look at it. Oh, that's no problem. I'm a dressing queen. All right, let's go. You ready? Yes, yeah, so everyone's sitting outside. It's kind of fun. You got water down here in the bottom of the cup. I'm sucking through straws. My hands are so full. And <laughs> my hand is killing me. I can't wait to get back to the car. So that's the other side of the street where there's more plants. They have like a little coffee booth. They have a lady with doll dresses. Pepper loves to go there. She just makes the doll dresses. They like homemade. It's kind of fun. And they have a band usually at these farmers markets. So that's fun. Is it just a stand-up musician? Oh, and they have got cool pretty rocks. I want to see you. Pretty rocks, pretty rocks. Yeah, you having fun? Yes. yes. Yeah. So it's been busy lately. 
This is awesome. I hope you guys are doing well. How are you doing? You got a beautiful smile over there. <laughs> and so this is called Juanita's Herb Growers Farm, and this is, they're super awesome. Come check them out. They got all kinds of cool stuff. This is called Coyote. What do you make with that? It's a type of fruit. grow some stuff that I don't know how to grow. I could put it in the ground and see what happens. Yeah, this is where I got wormwood. Yeah, if you got anything, you have to grow passion fruit. Oh, and they have sopadilla. Wow, that's a baby sopadilla plant for them. I want to get one of these. Do you guys take credit card? Darn, I might have to come back a different day. I'm going to get a passion fruit and some video plan. Look, so this is a Barbados cherry tree. This is one I have in my yard. And they've got cherries. I don't have cherries yet. I've got all different kinds of fruit trees. I've got a guava tree. So what I just needed is more land because I'm running out of land for trees. It's taking up all the space in the yard. Oh, yay, they got blueberries. Look at their blueberries. They look way better than mine. Okay, I'm going to have to water the heck out of my blueberry tree. <laughs> what else? The avocado trees. I think I have olive trees. Oh my gosh, dragon fruit. I want to grow some of this cool stuff. Miracle fruit. Oh, I love miracle fruit. we got to get one of those. Does that tree get pretty big? No? Hey Craig. Want to be on camera? Okay. If it doesn't want to be on camera, so we're not going to do that. Okay. Dwarf citrus trees. That's really cool. Lemon trees. Orange trees. Okay, let's go back to the rocks. What do you think, Pepper? You like this jewelry? What is love? Oh, 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 this is all the 18 inch dolls, so we need the 14 inch. Yeah. Okay. Well, Alright, we're going to come back next time we get this. And then she's got her 14 inch dolls. Okay, and this booth has got all these fun little soaps. Don't eat that pepper. Yeah, smell that. Okay, I got Soap Saver, and now we're just finishing up. There's only like two more booths. There's a raw honey booth behind me and a coffee bar, but we're gonna skip both of those. And then this booth here has just got a lot of fun jewelry and pictures. Pepper's really into all the artwork over here, so we're gonna check that out as well. Yeah, baby. So we're at the farmer's market, and Pepper loves these little paintings, and we talked to the artist. And the artist is going to give her a lesson, homeschooling. Hi, guys. What's your name? Joanna. Joanna. So I got Joanna's information, and we're going to go over to her house, and she's going to teach us how to do all of this cool artwork. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? If you guys just want to buy it, they have it here at Claremont Farmer's Market. And I think it's cool. All right. We saw the honey booth. And we saw baby ducks and pepper. You know, our daddy's a dog trainer, so she's going to go nuts for all the babies. Oh, good.